Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to Subnautica. This episode is probably gonna go up late today because I spent the better part of like an hour and a half of two hours, which would have been one, two, three, four, like five or six episodes doing uh, just freaking just uh, garbage work, like chore work, stuff that I know I need to get done, but I didn't want to do it on camera because it would have taken forever. And I took the liberty of taking care of some things, uh, building some quality of life things. Uh, we're going to go through what I built while I was doing stuff now. Uh, nothing huge. Uh, it was just a lot of resource gathering, man, and running back and forth because I'm an idiot and just forgot things. Uh, but mainly, I got some lockers up and running in the base. That's super simple. Glass and titanium, not a big deal. I went out of my way and got everything I needed to get a medical fabricator, so I have one that's not at my life pod. This was actually a way bigger pain in the ass than I expected it to be. It required more stuff than I was willing to do. Uh, but I had to, but I did it because I'm a goddamn champion. I also made myself a rebreather, as you can see. Uh, right here, you can see all like the leftover like nonsense that I have sitting in here. Um, also, I'm gonna go show you what I made in my Cyclops. What time is it? Actually, it's probably been like two and a half hours of me doing just shit. Uh, but let's see. Well, we'll go into the judge here, and um, the big, the big improvements I made while in here uh, is really only one. No, like three things I built. One is this. I got a fabricator up and running. And in order to build this a Cyclops pressure compensator, I need a plasteel ingot and aluminum oxide crystal. I have a plasteel ingot in my one of my lockers. I have one. I don't know where to get an aluminum oxide crystal though, so we're gonna have to look for that. But most importantly, it wasn't actually too bad. I built two of these puppies. Ah yeah, infinite power for my Cyclops. I still need to build another one of these and of course get the lantern fruit, um, but this is big, because this is like power, I don't have to worry about it anymore. The other thing that I wanted to build, but before I did it, was this map room. Um, because it's awesome. But moreover, I wanted to try something real quick, uh, and see if I could build it underneath. This tube, I think I need to build... Let's, let's cancel this real quick. I want to... Ah! Jesus, that scared the shit out of me, you asshole. So if I do this... And then I, can I build a tube attached to this? I can. And it does get attached. Because I'd like to build like the map room actually further down. Titanium, I, I should have enough to do this. But if I build the map room here, I, I'd really like this thing to be built like deep underground just because it kind of seems cool to me. Can I do that? Is that something I can do? So the scanner room, I know what I need because once I do this, it does that. Unfortunately, I can't build a tube that goes directly down. Also, this oxygen rebreather doesn't seem to do much. People are saying I was like, I needed to get this, but it doesn't seem to do too much. All right, I'm gonna break this down. Maybe I need to build, like, a tube tube? A tube tube. Good one, Matt. This, like, I hate you. This guy, I'm telling you, man, since I've been working on this thing, this thing has been flying around, being a pain in my ass. There it is. This is what I need. I kind of wanted to make it underground, just because it would have been cool. Um, let's see. I should have titanium. Let's go back. I don't know how, how useful it's going to end up being, but let's see. Do I have any more? I do. Let's grab a bunch. It's really dumb reasons to wanting to do this, but I want to do it because it's neat. So now, I don't know what that's going to do. It just, it's a map room and I've been wanting it. Welcome aboard, Captain. So let's see if it does anything. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay, this is what I need, I guess. Shit, man. I need ladders. Here I am being like, I'm a genius. This is gonna be so cool. They could have at least put a giant hole there, but I guess they don't want me to fall through and then get stuck. Like, forever. Which I guess is fair. Do I have any more titanium? 
Not really. Here. Hopefully this is going to be enough. Otherwise, I'm going to need to do more titanium gathering. And I'm not doing that now. I'd rather not do it now, rather. I'd rather not do it now, rather. Good one. Okay, so that went all the way down. Okay, cool. Okay, hey, this is neat looking. I, I'm not sure. This looks really fucking cool. But I don't know the use of it. So I can't actually build any. First of all, this looks fucking awesome. And it's only like a couple computer chips and stuff to use. It's just farming. So this is the base then. I can't actually move this. So is this everything I've explored? Is there a way to move this? Ooh, ba oh! Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! I can't move this one. I can send a camera out! What? Does it like not have like a maximum depth? It's a little strange because I can't hear much. Like it's a little muted sounding. But that's still really, really cool. I'm at depth. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do with this, though. I'm assuming this is like mapping things out for me. It's getting staticky. getting very very staticky okay let's head back I'm not quite sure like what the use is of this other than maybe some mapping like this this might be better if I had like a if I had this in uh, maybe in the middle of the ocean or something but I'm not entirely sure that there's a massive use here for this yet it does have health, so it can be attacked. Cool. Oh. Ooh, couple of warpers. So how do I, can I put it back? So I can just leave the camera there. Did it make stuff for me? Oh, it, it looks, I can look for stuff. What? This thing is almost useful. So it's like, I need, um, well, I, the thing I actually need is not anywhere near here. I want a reef back, man. Where we got some reef backs, homie. There's a reef back there, I guess. I don't know how useful this is going to be. Scanner room upgrades. Wait, I can make upgrades? Fabricator? I actually can't. It's not doing anything. Okay, hold on. Maybe like our fabricator that I've made will help me. Bear with me, this is kind of cool. Oh. Thank you, I needed this. Okay. I mean, I'm not seeing anything. So we can upgrade our scanning room. We have a, these are like a couple cameras, I guess. All right, all right, all right, I'm into it. I'm starting to understand a little bit. This is still active, which actually blows my mind. This thing is still generating power. 
Word. All right, we're gonna drink up one of our waters here to get at max. So, okay. Next thing we need is like oxide, aluminum oxide crystals. I don't know what those are. Is this one? That's magnetite. And gold, okay. I need aluminum oxide crystals. Not lithium, though. I'm glad to know there's lithium right here. Let's let's swing into our Cyclops real quick. Um, Welcome aboard. Captain. Thank you, thank you, much All appreciated. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, appreciate it, my friend. Um, let's put the lights on. There we go, bright lights. I mean, I like the way the base is coming along. I will say that much. Like, this is cool. I just don't know what the use of like. like there's got to be some incredible good, incredibly good uses for it, though. I just don't know if it's anything near like remotely now that I can do. Why are these batteries looking like green? All right, let's actually swap out a couple of these and we'll swap in some new ones. Get them charging. Okay. This, this freaking Bulbo tree was poorly placed on my part. You know what, we might as well swap out one with a 100. There's no reason not to. All right. Man, I feel a lot more self-sufficient now. Okay, so I need aluminum oxide crystals. And in order to get those, <coughs> I need to go deeper, presumably. So that's what we're gonna be looking at here. Going deeper. Looking for them aluminum oxide crystals. Seeing how deep we can get. Preferably about 500 or so, because it's about where it ends for me. It's nighttime, which sucks because I can't see jack shit. But, if we can stay close, I can get a pressure compensator on my, on my Cyclops, which would be, I'm assuming, exceptionally ideal. All right. Big floaters with floating islands. There's gonna be a day when you're doing this and like something's gonna, something ginormous is gonna come up from the darkness. Like descending into the depths of this darkness is horrifying. I've already hearing a groan. Man, humanity is not meant to be this deep down. I actually can't see anything and I don't know my depth. My depth is almost at 500 already. That's an issue. Um, Caution, passing safe depth. <sighs> Warning, maximum depth reached, hull damage imminent. Well, we're, we're, we're just at our maximum safe depth. There's a diseased sand shark. I don't know what they're... Everything to me that's not a reaper or a stalker is a sand shark. I hear rumblings of like a volcanic activity. Alright, um... I'm gonna stay uh, underneath it for now. I don't think that's aluminum oxide. I'm tempted to look though. I think that's something else. I think it's uranite. But why don't we take a look and see if it'll tell me what it is. Well, this is not at all what I was looking for. I don't want the darkness. Uh, let's get into our sea moth. I'd rather have the sea moth safety right now than anything else. Well, Oh shit! Yup, 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 yup. Can't do that. Can't do that. Up we go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Nope, 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 nope. I can't. I don't have a compensator for my freaking sea moth either. Shit. Alright, well. We gotta keep moving then. It's not like we could crack that open anyway. 
I'm pretty sure the green is not what I'm looking for, but... Man, the horrifying noises of the sea. I'm hitting so many... Yeah, whatever. Get out of here, sand shark! This ain't for you, my man. We'll head back. We'll head towards the life pod 12. So many fish. And then hope that at life pod 12, we'll, uh, we'll get what we need. Or at least in that direction. And if I can't find any this episode, instead of doing it off camera, I'll just do some research uh, and find out where I can find aluminum oxide. And I will go gather it in the beginning of next episode. I don't like doing stuff off camera, mainly because it's, first of all, I only like to do stuff off camera if it's a massive chore. Like, the stuff that I did off camera here took me, like like I said, a couple of hours at least of just, uh, of just fetch questing, essentially. That I don't mind doing off camera because it's such a pain in the ass, but otherwise, like not chronicling my adventure it we it bothers me because i feel like i'm i'm not properly you know journaling <laughs> the exploration of the sea as i do it it's so stupid but that's like half the appeal for me for these types of games survival or not is chronicling my adventure as i go go about it oops Let's, uh, let's get underneath here and, and do a quick scan of this area as we're going through it. I can actually see the bottom now, which is nice. Uh, I think we're heading into, like, blood kelp area? Okay, we still got some floating islands over here. Maybe I should just go up and ab above, but hang on. Let's take a look. I don't see anything on these islands. Looks like quartz. quartz. I assume aluminum oxide is not going to look like lithium or quartz. Lithium looks too cl close to quartz anyway with its color. Holy shit. Hang on. I hear a reef back, which is fine, but moreover, we have a crash site. That is some Mass Effect-ish music right there. All right, everybody. Let's take a look at this crash site, shall we? Uh, I need a battery. I think I have one somewhere. Because what I want to do is take this. Pop it. Let's do it. That is some very Mass Effect music, which is awesome. I'm hoping the rebreather does something. And I'm not just crazy and thinking it does nothing. Because it feels like it does nothing. <laughs> okay. I think I already have this. I'm just going to grab it anyway. Wait, no. Power cell charger. Oh! I built it because I was able to figure it out. Right. Not necessarily because I have the... Uh, Necessary uh, blueprint for it. I just figured it out because you put it down and it tells you seconds. 30 seconds got it uh, Wrong button there we go Oxygen. Yep, 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 yep We also need moon pool fragments. That is going to be another big thing that we need to be looking for at some point. Uh, I 
hate the sound of that sand shark being so close, man. They're pissed. They are absolutely pissed that I'm near as nearby as I am. I need food. They're more mad at the Cyclops, which I mean is like... I feel like that's a waste of th something to be mad at. Is that something I can read? It's like the engine, I think, is just busted through the hull there. Does not look like there's a way into this side. Well, I can see the value of this place if I hadn't already found what I needed here. A, oh, that's diamond. All right, I mean that's good, but and this is quartz. All right, well let's get back into our ship. I'm gonna do some research between the to today and tomorrow, figure out where the aluminum oxide is, and take care of it. Regardless, we have we have made massive progress. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, excuse me. I don't want a hole, hole breaching. Uh, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.